What's up everybody, this is Post Production Pi with srlounge.com. Now for those of you that have purchased the Mastering HDR Photography Workshop on DVD set, I wish to thank you as well as to apologize. We accidentally left out the presets that you're gonna be using for the system, so we wanted to make sure we got a correction on that. Uh, we also forgot to include the video for installing these presets as well. So in this video, we're actually gonna teach you guys how to install the Photomatix and the Lightroom 4 presets, and we're also gonna make updates to the DVD file, so anybody here on that basically downloads it will have the full thing from here on guys. So thank you for bringing that to our attention. Let's jump right in. Now, once you guys get to basically chapter four is when you're gonna start doing all of your production. We're gonna start going through our first examples and basically we're gonna have everything installed and ready to go by that point. So let's take a moment now and just install everything that we need. What we're gonna do is on your HDR DVD folder, you're gonna see the following uh, basically files and folders. So we have exercise files, videos, presets, config, SR Lounge, and SR Lounge, the uh, Flash movie. So these are your two playing files. This is configuration files for the DVD itself. You don't want to change anything in there. And here are your videos and, of course, your exercise files and your presets. Now, if you wanted to, you could always drag and drop your videos into just your own video player, if you like. Or you can play them off of the built-in player that we spent a lot of time on so you guys have this beautiful little menu. But anyway, what you're going to do is jump into the preset folder. And we basically have Lightroom 4 presets as well as Photomatix presets. Now, let's start with the Lightroom 4 presets, but if you already have Lightroom, uh, the SR Lounge Lightroom 4 preset system, you don't need to install these presets because these presets are basically a small sample set of presets from the Lightroom 4 preset system that we use for HDR photography. So if you already have the Lightroom 4 preset system, you have all of these and much, much more. So don't worry about installing anything. You're gonna to skip to the second portion where we're gonna install Photomatix. But for those that don't, let's get started with this part. What we're gonna do is just jump into this folder and uh, I'm gonna hit the Windows left or Windows left arrow key to just basically move my window off to the left side of the frame. Um, you can also just resize it if you want, uh, but we just basically want to resize the window so we can see more than just this plain window. Now, we're also going to go into Lightroom 4. This is the easiest way to find the Lightroom 4 preset folders on any machine, Mac or Windows. So I'm just going to jump into Lightroom 4. All right. Now, once this is loaded, we're going to move this to the right side of the screen by hitting Windows right, or you can, again, just resize using the window. But we're going to go to Edit and then go to Preferences. I think I said Edit kind of funny, but that's all right. We're going to go to Preferences. You can also hit Control, Comma to get there. You're going to go into Presets and then hit Show Lightroom Presets Folder. Okay, so here's what we're going to do is once we have this folder, I'm going to hit Windows right once again just to move this to the right side of the screen. I'm going to click here on the left side. And basically, all we have to do is move the develop presets into the develop preset folder and the local adjustment presets into the same folder. So double click into Lightroom and we're going to see those folders. So here's our develop presets. And there's the, well, this is the Lightroom 4 preset system that's already installed. But uh, if you don't have that, then it's going to be mostly blank except for these user presets. Now, here's the one caveat to this. If you're on PC, you can always just drag and drop the folder from here to here. And it's just going to ask you if you want to basically merge the two folders and you would say yes. Why? Because, well, if you have the preset system, you don't need to be doing this, but if you did, it would just replace the, the existing presets in there anyway, which won't really make any changes because they're all the same anyway. If you don't have the presets, then it's going to add them basically to the folder. But if you are on a Mac, if you're on OS X, um, at least I haven't been using Mountain Lion much, but at least in the previous version of OS X, um, when you dragged a folder into another location that already had that existing folder, instead of merging the two folders, it would actually replace it. So if you're on OS X, you definitely do not want to drag and drop this in because it's going to actually replace any developed presets that you already have installed. I don't know why Mac does this. I don't know why OS X is weird in this way, but it just does it, okay? So rather than doing any of that, let's just do it the simple way. Double click into develop presets. We're gonna double click and develop presets on this side. So from here, I would just drag and drop these presets right into the preset folder. I would let go to copy them over, but once again, I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that. I'm just gonna let go. We're gonna go back to the local adjustment presets and do the same thing. Just drop into the local adjustment presets folder. And again, we have everything already installed because we already have the Lightroom 4 preset system here, but we just drag and drop in the little sample pack that it comes with for the DVD into this right side the same way. 
Okay, now once you're done with that, you can close and then reopen Lightroom 4 and then you're gonna see your develop presets in the develop module. And remember that to see the brush presets, you actually need to open up a, a brush inside of Lightroom, otherwise you're not gonna be able to see it. So your develop presets are gonna be here on the left side in the develop module and on the right side, if you go to basically any of the brush or the graduate filter presets, you can click on the effect and you'll see the presets that we've installed. You're only gonna see these five actually, or there's two categories and there's five actual presets, but that's where they're gonna appear. Okay, so let's close down Lightroom now and let's open up Photomatix. I'm gonna show you guys how to install the presets in Photomatix. It's gonna be very similar actually. But what we're gonna do is just go into our view menu, go to preferences, and here, it'll actually tell you where the folder is for the uh, preset directory. Now, if you wanna change that folder, you can, but I typically just leave it under the default folder because that's where all the other presets that it comes with are gonna be installed anyway. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't let us just say, open this preset folder inside of Photomatix, at least not in version 4.2, maybe they'll add it later on. So the easiest way to do this is just to select this little path right here. We're just gonna click there, hit Control A, or if Control A doesn't work, you can just uh, drag and, and select the entire thing. I'm gonna hit Control C or Command C to copy that path. And then you're just gonna go to uh, a file window or you can go to Finder. Finder will do the exact same thing as Windows Explorer. So we're just gonna click up here in this window and then paste that path, okay? So now it's gonna take us to that specific path. And the only difference in yours versus mine is just that the username right here, pym000, that's gonna change with your own computer. All right, so hit enter. And then it has all the presets right here. All I do at this point is go back to my Photomatix presets. Sorry, there's a extra file there. We just go back to the photo makes presets right here. There's three presets and you're just gonna drag and drop these presets in to photo matrix and so that has them. I accidentally moved them instead of copying them but uh, cause it's on the same uh, hard drive. So I'm just gonna copy them back as well. Okay, so now our presets are installed for photo matrix and then once we close down photo matrix, so let's do that now. Let's close down photo matrix and then we're gonna restart photo matrix. Whoops, there we go. All right, there it is. It's gonna load up those presets and they're gonna be available when you actually load up a bracketed sequence, okay? Remember to close it down and then to reopen, otherwise you won't be able to see them. But when you do see them, they're gonna be over on the right side. I don't wanna load up a set of bracketed photos. Actually, maybe I just should load it up just so I can show you guys where it is. I'm gonna load up a quick set of bracketed photos. I'm gonna pause it while I'm doing so so you guys don't have to wait and you'll see me in just a second. Okay, so we're back with an image loaded up. Now, once you're in, you're gonna see in the preset side, it's showing all right now. And with all, it's gonna show basically all the presets that uh, Photomatix came with. What you wanna do is go down and click on my presets. And then it's gonna show the three presets we installed were HDR low, HDR mid, and HDR strong. So it's gonna appear right here. This last one is one that I've created just in my personal work, so don't worry about that one. But uh, you'll have these three presets ready to go, and all you do is just select one of the presets and then it's gonna dial in those settings accordingly. All right guys, so that's it for setting up our Lightroom 4 and our Photomatix presets. Thank you all so much and let's go on to the next video.